Chantel D. Christopher. Thank you for coming to my channel. Also, please subscribe, subscribe, like, and ring the button. Okay, this is part four of how my agent got me a union job. How my agent got me a job on Stranger Things. Matter of fact, she bad like that. She got me three episodes. And that's season three, episodes four, five, and six. And I play the hospital receptionist. Okay, now we're just going to review over everything that we went over so far. I'm adjusting. There we go. One, the first part is you identify why you want to be an actor. And the way I identified what I want to be an actor was because I was watching TV when I had to be about eight or nine years old at good times. And Thelma is also my mom's name, which is Thelma, which caught my attention. The other thing is you need to audition, audition, audition. What you need to audition. Audition, fail at trying. Trust me, it is the best learning, especially in the beginning. Number three, headshot and resume. That's like your business card in the acting business. Yeah, we're going to talk more in detail. We're going to go in more detail in reference to headshots and resumes a little bit later. And I'm going to also offer you a deal where you can get a cheat sheet which is perfect. A cheat sheet that you can go by, I'll show you an example of mine, and I'll show you an example of what to fill out and how to fill out in different areas. Stay tuned. So that's why you need to subscribe, like, and ring the bell so you can have that information. The next thing is join an ensemble. Be a part of an ensemble. It could be an ensemble group at your church. It could be an ensemble within a theater group, within a college group, but become an ensemble because it teaches you how to be a team which is we all need to be a team while we're out in this acting game. Next thing, number five, competitions, competitions, competitions. You can Google, Google high school competitions, Google college, Google community theater, Google just competition, acting competitions, and get involved. I never get one time I created my own theater company because somebody didn't want me to go. Mm-hmm. They were trying to block me, but they don't know. I can read and write, and I made my own company. Chantel D. Christopher Ensemble. The sixth, I suggest that you don't major in theater unless you want to teach it. The way to do it is to minor in it, or not even minor in it. You can always audition at the theater because they have open calls. And number seven, create your own community. One of the key things that helped me when I was out in Los Angeles was my community. And I came across my community from going on auditions, doing extra work. That is one of the best places to meet people, like-minded people, as well as people who are trying to do the same thing you're doing. And this is something else I do. I don't just... I look for somebody who is my color, my age, and looks like me. The hair can vary because I can always switch and change it to a wig or something, but I also look like somebody who looks like me, so we'll be going out for pretty much the same thing. And number eight, this is the best one. This is a new one. It's the best one. God. He should have been the first one. You've got to put God first. There is no way. No way that I can even express and even explain how in the world did I end up with Tyler Perry before he became Tyler Perry. It can't be nothing but God. Because one of the greatest things is my mother, she always stayed on her knees. Even though she wasn't too keen about this little acting thing, she stayed on her knees and said, Lord, give her the desires of her heart if it's within your will. And if it's not, change her will for wanting this acting thing. But we see it is God's will. So these are the things that I encourage you to go over and try. So the question is, what's next? So how do you, okay, I think the question is this. When are you ready for a union agent? That's a good question. Mm. I think you are ready for a union agent when you're close to getting your SAG card. Because you got to think about it. You kind of sort of need to be union 
to work with the union agent, but not necessarily. Because when I booked, not when I booked, but when I signed on to my agency, I was in union. However, she knew I was at a union theater, which was the Alliance Theater, and I could be equity eligible. At that time, if you became equity by being a part of an equity show, which the Alliance Theater was an equity theater, then within a year, I could sign up for SAG after. I'm not sure what the rules are in 2019. Google, check it out. But when somebody asked, no, didn't nobody ask me. I got to the point that I said, okay, I started researching and finding out who were these big people, what were they doing that was different from what I was doing that I couldn't get an agent. And the bottom line was, it was my resume. I didn't have the resume. I always feel as though as once you work on that resume, your gift will make room for you. But you've got to also plan accordingly for that. So honestly, I think that's what it is, what it was. I mean, what it is. So what I would do, let's say when I was out in LA, because I was looking for a union agent out in LA. Now I already had a union agent in Atlanta. That doesn't mean the same thing as a union agent in LA. You gotta also make sure with your contract because my agency, they knew that I did theater on my own. You know, I, I yeah, I do theater on my own. That was my choice. I could find a theater union agent to get me work like with you in new york the broadway scene that's one place that i think you would need a union equity agent not sure but i think and when i went out to la i had an atlanta agent but to get a union agent in la it took the whole three years that i was there to get one what I did was send out at that time, headshot and resume. It wasn't as easy now where we can just send an email and stuff. I put my headshot and resume in this nice little envelope and I had to print them out. So I had to get, I went to resolutions, I think reproductions in Los Angeles where they had a really nice quality of uh, paper. And I used to go to, I think it was backstage or uh, went to go find like to get a list of all the agencies and I will pick 10 and constantly send in my headshot and, headshot and resume in order to be considered. But then one day I ran into somebody and they told me, well, if you're not union, a union agent is not going to pick you up. Well, I said, well, that's a lie because my agent in Atlanta picked me up and she was union and I wasn't union. So you just got to figure out the method to the madness. There was also this place in Atlanta that I learned from, not Atlanta, LA, that I learned from my village. They would have these open calls on, I think Thursdays from a certain time and the people would be lined up in the hallway and you would go in and they would have something for you to read and act out. And that would be the choice whether they picked you up or not. I did that for three years solid. And right when I was getting ready to move back to Atlanta, <laughs> they signed me. And I sat there and said, shoot, now I have a union agent in LA. Should I stay? Hell no. Because the cost of living was killing a sister. And I hadn't really booked anything major out there that would sustain me, like pay my rent, which was $750 a month for a studio apartment. So, yeah, I can't remember that. I, I just, right when I had started to make a decision to move back to Atlanta, and they said, we want to sign you. And I was like, really? Boo boo the fool? Really? And I didn't say anything until I left. And when I left, I sent them a letter and said, thank you, but I've moved back to Atlanta. However, if I'm back in the LA area, I will look you up and thank you for the opportunity. So we've gone through my top eight things about how to get a union agent. 
I mean, how how my agent got me a job on Stranger Things. One, identify what your, why you want your passion. Two, audition, audition, audition. Three, you need headshots and you need resumes. Four, do some ensemble work, whatever it is, in a church, in a community theater, in your community, anywhere. Five, check into competition. Competition, competition, competition. It will only make you better and plus, that's some of the best networking places. Six, I would not suggest majoring in theater unless you plan on teaching it, okay? Because you can always audition for the theater, get the experience, and or you can also minor in it. And no, seven, create a community. That was my key thing out in LA and in Atlanta. I have a community of people who we talk about what's going on in the industry, what can help me, what can help you, and we just worked all as one. And number eight, last but not least, but should have been first, God. Okay, so I hope this helped you. I am working on audition. I'm working on how I could do auditions on YouTube. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it, but you need to stay tuned. I may do a little test for you next Thursday. This is Chantel D. Christopher. Please subscribe, like, share, and ring the button. And I'll see you at the movies.